I'm Natasha Renault and I'm talking to Brendan Murray, whose new play, Missing in Action, is on at the West End Centre in Aldershot on Wednesday the 5th of December. So, first of all, Brendan, can you tell us what the play's about? The play is an attempt, I suppose you'd say, to look at uh, some of the issues surrounding people who are in the military and their families and some of the things they have to go through, both the good things and the bad things. And it doesn't shy away from some of the really dark things that people have to experience, both personally and, as I say, as a family of someone in the military. So it does look at bereavement. It does look at uh, post-traumatic stress. Hopefully, I, I think, in a way that, that won't put people off, that, but that people will recognise. Because the play is based on the testimony of retired and serving service personnel and their families, isn't it? It is. I did quite a lot of research. I mean, I read a lot and I looked at a lot of documentaries, but what I tried to do most of all was to find people who would talk to me and share their stories. And it it was a slow slow process to begin with, and that was fair enough, you know, because people didn't know who I was, maybe didn't trust me, didn't know that they could trust me. But slowly the word spread on a kind of jungle network, you know, and people started to talk, and it was amazing. I mean, people were so generous, both with their time and their experiences. And as you say, I I spoke to both serving personnel, retired personnel, and wives, girlfriends, fathers, mothers. Yeah, it was it was it was a fantastic time. And correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I do believe the play is set during World War One. So, um, will the location be in the trenches? I mean, what kind of location have you chosen for it? Um, Well, I am going to have to correct you there, Natasha, because (laughs) it's not set in World War. The play's actually set now. And it looks at two, two friends who, who join up, two young boys who join the army and get posted to Afghan, Afghanistan. And, um, and it looks at the experience of one of them, the mother of one of them who, whose son dies, and also the, the partner uh, of the other who, having witnessed some terrible things during his time uh, in the forces, comes back and is really struggling to hold his life together. The, the, the reference to the First World War that you talked about is actually that in between each scene, there is um, a piece of war poetry, which um, most of which does come from the First World War, and that's spoken by a slightly mysterious character in the play. I don't want to give too much away, um, who has a, if you like, a kind of overview of the whole thing and might be, might be a real person, might be someone from the past. It's hard to know, but... He, he, he's a guy who, who lives rough on the streets, but who ha- has within him at least um, th- these poems from, from different conflicts. Most of them are from the First World War, but, but some from other, other times as well. You've written this play, um, but mm. where did you get the inspiration from? I, I say this in the programme, most plays start with a question, and uh, very often it's a director approaching a writer, and that's what happened this time. Mary... Swan, who runs Proteus Theatre in Basingstoke, had seen some of my stuff and quite liked it, and so came to me and said, had I ever thought about what it must be like if someone you love, someone in your family, is in the forces, what that feels like and how you go through what they go through, perhaps secondhand? Or... And I said, no, no, that's a really interesting idea. So we, we just started from that, thinking well, maybe what it's like to be the mother or the wife or the, of, of someone who's serving for their country in really dangerous situations. So we didn't start off with a story. We started off with just the idea of what does that feel like? And then the story and the events in the play came out of the interviews I did with those people who are serving, who have been serving. I mean, I talked to people who were in the Falklands, Iraq, um, all, all diff- you know, different conflicts over the years. And as I say, I also talked to their mothers, fathers, um, partners. So, so, so the story emerged slowly f- from the interviews. Yeah. The show is only on for one night only. That's on the um, Wednesday, the fifth of December, at the West End Centre in Aldershot. So, yeah. why why should people come see the show? I, I think people should come because I, I hope what the play does is acknowledge people's stories. You know, I, I think it's quite easy to forget what's going on out there and also what's going on here in the hearts and minds of the people who are the families of the people who are serving 
And I'm hoping the play will kind of bear witness to their experience. And as I say, not just the bad times, but also, I mean, there is humour in the play too, because as anyone who's been in the forces, you will know this, there's a lot of humour in, in uh, service life. And really because there has to be. Uh, so there's quite a lot of humour in the play. But, but it doesn't shy away from the darker times and it doesn't shy away from some quite strong emotions. But I, what, what seems to have been the experience so far as we've played it in various towns is that people have been quite moved by the play sometimes and have said, yeah, that's spot on, which is, for me, that's the greatest compliment because that's what I've tried to be. I've tried to be true to people's experiences as I heard it. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I'm Natasha Renault, and I've just been talking to Brendan Murray, whose new play, Missing in Action, will be on at the West End Centre in Aldershot on Wednesday the 5th of December.